what's going on YouTube so today I just wanted to um, give you guys a quick update of, of what I'm particularly doing uh, at work for right now since the school district is closed there are a lot of employees that still have to um, work at a lot of our school locations and today I'm at one of my schools and we're actually um, passing out packets for the kids to work on during the summertime um, so that you know helps a lot of students out here uh, just do remedial work kind of just help brush up on some skills that they may have been been lacking or just to um, get a refresher on certain certain topics they were working on just so you know they have something to work on for the remainder of the school year these packets are very very in-depth and very thick um, from my understanding they're anywhere from 70 to 100 pages long so um, they're also here to pick up report cards and they're also passing out breakfast and lunch um, for students as well so uh, at our uh, select school sites if parents want to pick up breakfast and lunch for their kids while they're you know at home they can come and pick up uh, what we call a grab-and-go where they pull up in line and they literally get lunch and breakfast uh, for each student that they may have at the school so it's really cool it's a really good thing I think we're doing as a service to our communities and so um, just wanted to do a quick little video of, of, of that and I'll have another school tomorrow I'll do a, you know, some quick footage of as well. So yeah, just want to give you a heads up of what I'm doing during the week. And I hope you guys are doing well. Just finished my shift of work today and uh, just wanted to give a quick um, summary of, of the footage that you've seen um, basically right now schools are closed and so in my position um, I'm normally kind of like the middleman between a school and the central office so I help support a lot of our schools with pretty much anything that they may need um, and it can just vary from numerous things uh, whether it's you know dealing with um, a parent teacher conference or or it could be dealing with a level four violation it could be dealing with 
you know, teacher evaluations. It could be dealing with data, closing gaps. It could be dealing with maintenance issues or whatever the case may be. And so since um, the schools are closed, I can't be that middleman, you know, to help in those in those areas. And so um, right now what I'm doing is helping our school sites that have been identified as food distribution sites for our families um, and students. Um, I'm going out there helping and support those schools. And so it was just a little bit of footage of just showing um, the setup and how things are going pretty smooth. Uh, the parents are very happy, um, upbeat, and just excited to uh, to see their principals, to see some of the teachers, to see some of the staff, and to pick up uh, schoolwork that they can work on at home, um, and also to pick up lunch and breakfast as well. Um, you know, in these times, it's, it's very difficult for, you know, a lot of people. And you got to understand that, you know, when when a lot of families are used to having kids, you know, at school, um, the breakfast and the lunch portion, you know, is not something that they normally are dealing with. So when you have all of these students and kids at home, now parents who have to stay at home with those kids or who unfortunately may have lost their jobs in this time right now that we're in, you know, are, are having to supply the breakfast, the lunch and the dinner. And so it's a big help when schools are are actually contributing to still serving breakfast and lunch, you know, for those families. And so um, I think it's a great thing that Orange County Public Schools is doing. Um, I'm seeing, you know, firsthand um, the reactions of parents, the, the gratitude, the thankfulness that they're, you know, they'll come up and, and basically just, you know, say, thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm really, really appreciative of this. And you guys don't know how much this means. And so it's it's really good to see those kind of responses and seeing that the district is still making sure that even though we're supposed to be at home, um, you know, and even though we're all in the front line of being in danger, you know, helping out when we can, helping out our communities and helping out our students and families, you know, is just as important. And so um, I'm really appreciative that that we have the opportunity to uh, do this and that I'm in a good enough health health to actually um, to actually uh, volunteer, you know, as well. And so um, with that being said, that's what you pretty much saw in the video. I'm just going to keep it short. Guys, be safe out here. You know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of stories from people that I know in South Florida, people that I know in um, in uh, North Carolina and uh, even up north as far as New York. It's getting uh, it, it's definitely starting to get worse. And I think this is going to get worse. And, you know, I just ask that everyone out there just just please use common sense. Please be safe. Do the right thing. Um, and, uh, and 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 just uh, take care of you and your family. And uh, other than that, I'll see catch you on the next video. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do another mountain bike video again. A lot of our parks are closed down here. So unless I do a video, you know, of me just riding on the street or something, it's not really going to be that exciting. So as far as content, as far as mountain bike content, I really don't know what else to post right now while we're going through something like this. Um, and so... Um, so, yeah, I may just have to do some more more reviews on other products or something, but just bear with me on the mountain bike part right now. So um, but other than that, you guys take care of yourselves. I'll catch you on the next video.